there's only one way to get your views up as far as I'm concerned. Grind it. Yeah. What we're doing. Yeah. And you got to be on there for more than a year. Yeah. People got to know you. and Because you know what? Or show your tits and your ass. Do yoga videos well, with pure tits and ass. Well, like, That's apparently well, like, how it works, right? Please, <laughs> please don't show your tits and ass. I'm going to do it. You ready for this TikTok? <clears throat> I'm going to do it. No, don't do that, please. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that, please. Please don't do that. Okay. <laughs> I might, I might give it a shot on your own. Account. I'm willing to try anything, man. Don't put it on account. I no. Just, <laughs> <laughs> I, open, I, a, open up, open a fresh account. No, no, I'm just saying. <laughs> if you post it, I will erase. It. <laughs> <laughs> what if it gets like ten fucking thousand views and then you're still gonna see post deleted? deleted. Yeah. What happened here? Ten million? No. Post. Why? Reason for post being deleted? Jay threw up. <laughs> 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 Within three seconds of looking at it. Reason for. What's Jason's reason for taking those off? Yeah. There's not even a reason. Like <laughs> there's quotation marks. Yeah. There's, no. There's just a big middle finger. No, no, no. 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 Don't do it. No. No. No, no. I'm just trying to give the people no. what they want. No, 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 no. No. I'm trying to give the people what they want. Um, I'm pretty sure the people don't want... The people want it. ...to see your tits and ass. <laughs> the people I'm want it. sure they don't. You see how many likes my the, the one remember the one with that song and the, the best view of 2022 or whatever? Yeah, it's because of that song. Get out of the here. The song got all the likes? I That's think right. it was I think it was my ass. No. I went up there and I did the pose. It, it, that girl pose you know the way the girls, you know the way the girls pose because the one leg back and the went viral. You have to do one leg back. Well, this is guy. What are you a stripper now? See that? One leg back and it You stripper now? Look at that. Pole dancing? Look at that ass. See that? Yo, dude, sit, sit down, please. I can't see. That ass is so big that I have to duct tape myself on the chair so I don't slide out. The... <laughs> Yo. I have no ass to speak of. That's, I was just going to say. <laughs> you, you know? As, as uh, we used to say back in the day, you and your uh, ironing board. The, the iron board bottom? Batty. Ironing board batty. <laughs> Dave. Just lie down, let me press my pants. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get the pleats in my jeans. Actually, people don't even know what I'm talking about. No, people don't. don't what are pleats? pleats? Nobody does that anymore. Nobody I know. wants the pleats. Dude, no one. You, you remember? Yes, like, Bredgen. Yeah. You had to have that perfect, that perfect line, line straight going down, down the, front. the middle. Who knows about that? Anybody know about the line that you used to have to wear right down the front? The pleats, you know? You iron your pants. Pe Yo, I don't even think they sell irons anymore, guy. You just put your shit into the dryer and put it on. You just wear it. Come out of it. Yeah. Or you just come out like you were, uh, your pants looking like a chip bag. You know? You, <laughs> you, you, uh, you know, uh, crumpled up chip bag. Yeah, my mom used to say, like, it's like you set the iron to ramful. <laughs> you, look like, you look like you set the iron to ramful. Because, <laughs> you know, in the Caribbean, they always say your clothes ramful up. Yes, I yeah. know exactly what your mom was saying. Yeah, yeah. Listen, you don't have to explain. Her terminologies to me, they're great. They're, yeah, yeah, all of them. Yeah, yeah. And as soon as you say it, I was like, "Yep, yep." It's like you said, they're iron to ramp full. Yeah, trust me. <laughs> she used to get, she used to get vexed if you, like, yo, if you look, if you look ramp full up leaving the oh house. Oh my god! And I'm like, I'm just going to school, man. I don't even care. Like, I'm. This is the shirt under my sweater, under my jacket. I'm gonna. It's like, yeah, no, I, I just. She's like, no, iron the shit. You yeah. can't fucking go out like that. Oh, trust me, yeah. I she used to, to tell me go too. out like you have to go out like you have an owner. That's what she used to say. You have to look like you have an owner. That's the, the word she used to use. True, true. I used to get that too, guy. Yeah. You used the iron, and sometimes I'd pull the whole, let me just uh, cheat and put it in the dryer. Yeah. No, I'm right there. I come out the dryer, and my mom's like, where the pleat down? What country you're from? We're from Canada. Both of us from Canada. From Canada. Although you couldn't tell by but his thing there. We have, I, we have I, Caribbean roots, though. I rep in Grenada. I'm half... Half Guyanese, half Trini. And he's all Grenada. All 100%. Like, as you can tell, the freshy ting. Grenada. Yeah. So who's your favorite hockey player? George LaRock? That's right. What the hell is that? George LaRock could punch people's teeth in, guy. That's <laughs> right. Yeah. I do like George LaRock. Yep. We both look very Canadian, somebody said. Well, because you're wearing a hockey shirt. You didn't realize that? I don't know if it's sarcasm. I don't know if they're trying to use sarcasm. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. Good. You know you're wearing a hockey shirt. Right? I am wearing a hockey shirt. Hockey Night so Canada, bro. I've been watching why... Hockey Night Canada since I was like 
That's two. Why, that's why I asked you what's your favorite player. Who's your favorite player? He didn't say that. He asked, as my favorite player, George LaRock. Is it? No. Who's your favorite player? Of all time? Just whatever. Right now? Yeah. Austin Matthews. Because I'm a Toronto Maple Leafs fan. Okay. I yeah. know people, people, yo, that, that'll set people off. <laughs> yeah. People are like, fuck the Leafs. Everybody except yeah. the, the little sector of Leafs fans. Yeah, well, fucking hate the Leafs. I hate the Leafs too. Yeah. Austin Matthews, Mitch Marner, the whole band, those are my guys. I'm a Detroit Red Wings guy. You grew up with Iserman and them? Yes. Yeah, well, Iserman, Fedorov. Fedorov. They were the shit back then, oh, man. Oh, dude. They were unstoppable. Wait. So. What the fuck was the defenseman's name? He's like a fucking all star. Uh, Lindstrom. Lindstrom. Nicholas Lindstrom. Nicholas Lindstrom. Years and years that guy. Dude. He says all star. All star level. I used to play hockey on the PlayStation. Yeah. That was my team, guy. But then you know who used to rival me? You know who my rival is on that game? Pittsburgh. No. The, in those times. In those, time, those times were like Mary Lemieux. No, and, no, 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 no. Jeremy Roenick. Oh, yes. The, which which uh, Roenick? Blackhawks. The, the Blackhawks Roenick. Dude. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Roenick was. That guy was like a one man gang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He could hit as hard as the hardest body checker. Yeah, yeah. And then he could score like Iserman. Yeah. So, like. And he was a shit talker. He's the one of the oh, best shit talkers in hockey. Jeremy Roenick. I used to hate playing against the Blackhawks guy. Yeah. That was a Detroit and Blackhawks. That was a match. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I remember that man, fucking Ronick. He's a bastard. I hated him. I loved him on TV. I oh, hated yeah. him because he was never on our team, and every time he played the Leafs, he fucking torched oh, us, dude. And he, he always ended up scoring a winning goal or something. And then and you're right. Then he's talking pure shit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He was a shit talker. Never stopped talking. He was like he was like the Gary Payton or the or the, <laughs> the or the Kevin Garnett of oh, fucking yeah, trust of hockey, me. just pure shit talking and. If you wanted to fight him, he'd fight you. That's what I'm and saying, then, dude. If you left him alone, he'd score. That's what and I'm talk saying, shit. Yeah. And he used to body check. Mm. Who, who was that guy? Well, that those was... days, those days, the body checks were fucking vicious. Oh, yeah, they, trust they've me. taken that, that kind of hating out of hockey. Well, now, because... because it ended people's career. Remember, like, fucking... Uh, shit, Eric... What's his name? Eric Lindros. <laughs> Eric Lindros. His career was done before it started, man. And yo, dude was such a big dude. Yeah, well, people, that's why people took liberties hitting him. And it's like, yo, he's just a big target. Like, yeah. Yo, I'm going to mash you up. Yeah. Oh, well. He was a Leaf. For like 10 minutes, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He wanted to play for the Leafs when he got drafted, I think. And he, he refused to play for a team that drafted him, I think. Uh, I think it was, was the some, Nordiques. It was either the Canadians or the Nordiques. I think it was the Nordiques. I think he didn't want to play there or something. I'm not I wouldn't sure. want to play there neither. Yeah, well, they got folded. But then they went to... Didn't they go to fucking Colorado and win the cup the next year or some shit? Like, I think so. Yeah, like Patrick Waugh ended up on the team and they fucking won the cup. Yeah. The Quebec Nordiques turned into the Colorado, Colorado Avalanche. Avalanche. Avalanche, Avalanche yeah. yeah. Something like that. See? Look at that. Two dark-skinned guys. That's right, hockey. They're talking hockey.